Let's talk about SVG files and how to use them in Cricut Design Space on your iPad. An SVG file is a scalable vector graphic. That means that the image is already set up, ready to cut, and it should work just as good as any images you find in the Cricut library if it's a correctly made SVG. It would have all the layers and colors already set up for you. So to start with, you have to find your SVG. And I have found that downloading them with Safari works better than on Google Chrome when working on the iPad. I'm going to go to Love SVG because it is my favorite place to go to get SVG files. And I'm going to find one that's got a couple different colored layers in it just so that you can see um, how this works. I like this one with the wreath. Okay, so I'm clicking on the image and it brings me to this preview and it's showing me that I'm going to get an SVG file, DXF file, an ESP file, and a PNG file. We'll go over those a little bit more. I want to scroll down until I see the download right here. Download zip file. A zip file means it's going to have all of those four different file types contained into one zipped up folder. So let's download that zip folder. Now my iPad's asking me, do I want to download that? Yes, yes I do. Okay, so now I am going to open up the little blue folder and go to my downloads. And you can see right there, it says zip in the icon and it is the name of the um, folder that, that I downloaded, so that's right. So now this is like having a purse or bag that's zipped shut and the stuff you want is inside there. So we gotta get inside of this zipped folder to get access to the SVG. So if I click on that, it's gonna ask me if I wanna duplicate it, move it, delete it. But then way down here at the bottom, it says uncompress. So that's the same as unzipping it or extracting the files. So yes, let's uncompress. So now I have another little folder that says it's got four items in it. Let's go in there. And now we can see the first one is the DXF file. The second one is the ESP. The third one down um, that has the little blue squares in it, that's gonna be your SVG file. The very last one is your PNG file. That's basically a preview of the image. So now that we have them extracted where we can get at them, we can go back into Cricut Design Space. So let's click on our upload button, which is the first or the fourth button in upload. And it's giving me choices. I can either take a photo, go to my photo library or browse my files. So since I just downloaded and saved it to my files, I'm going to browse files. And then down on the bottom where it says browse, I'm going to go to my downloads. And here I'm seeing a preview of the zip, which I don't want because that's got everything in it and I just want the one SVG file. So I'm gonna go to the little folder icon. And remember here, I wanna pick the one with the blue rectangles, not the one that looks like the pretty picture. I'll show you why. When I click that one, it's asking me to name it. So I'm just gonna name it wreath and I hit save. And boom, it is in my uploaded images. I didn't have to clean it up or anything. Let's click on it and insert it. And let's move this out of the way so we can see just our SVG. And see how I brought that in all pretty, cleaned up, perfectly ready to cut. And it brought it in with three different colored layers, this purple, the darker green, and the kind of lime green. How do I know for sure those are all on different layers? Well, if I click on my layers button, I can see they're all individual cuts. Instead of bringing it in all in one flat layer that I had to make into individual colors. So here's the mistake that most people make. 
When they go to Upload and Browse Files, a lot of people will pick this one on the far right. That's the PNG, and see how it gives us this black preview? It's asking me to clean this up, and if I went Next, it's saying, yep, that's what it's going to look like, this black image. Next, I want to save it as a cut. This is going to be my wreath, but I'm going to go underscore bad, because this is not how you want to do it. But I'm showing you what most people do, so you know why it's wrong. So then people go, oh no, I brought in this SVG and it's all black and I want, want it colored like this. So this one over here was the true SVG file. This one over here was the picture that I uploaded. So make sure you're using the true SVG file and then you'll be ready for cutting. I hope that helped you to understand the difference between an SVG file and just an image PNG file and how to choose the correct one to upload to Cricut Design Space for your crafting needs. Make sure to like my video and subscribe. Thanks!